Hi, I'm Tom Molini. I'm coming to you today from a felt map, but also a fig jam. And these two have to do with the same topic. And I want to see if I can make them play together and go together nicely. So let's take this felt map. Let's click share. And I've shared it to web. And so I'll copy link. And then let's go over to my fig jam. And let's see if we can get this map into this fig jam. So let's click on the select tool. And I'll just right click and click paste. And there is the map. And let me just zoom in a little bit on it. And I zoom in and so it's there. We'll then click view and check this out. I can actually in here, just even in this little tile, zoom in, and zoom out. I can click on individual entries, you see that? But better than that, I can just click maximize. I can you know, open the link in another tab, but I can maximize and I can see and navigate this map right here in my uh, fig jam no quite you know so easily how nice is that so i love that i can just add a felt map to a fig jam and it's just there and i can explore it without opening a new tab really useful for your students now let's see if the same is true uh we'll click share here we have to make sure that anyone with the link can view great we'll click copy and then we'll go over to our felt map and we'll click add a link and i'll paste that link there And it is there. And when I then zoom in a little, it gets a little pixelated, but for the bigger things, uh, I can see the text and I can see that fig jam. And then again, there I can move it around. I can resize it. I can then lock it into place. So really nice. I just love that these two really useful tools play together so nicely. Felt, fig jam, fig jam and felt. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.